What is the legend of Hercules? A legend said, I will face the world, fearless, proud, and strong. I can go the distance. This carries a brimming strength which is a source of self-motivation. Well, I am talking about Hercules the Greek god. Hercules was one of the most known heroes of Greek mythology. He was also known as Heracles. Hercules was the demigod son of Zeus, king of the gods, and Alchemy's mortal woman with superior strength and stamina. But his life was full of ups and downs. Hera, the wife of Zeus, was not happy with Hercules's birth as he was the illegitimate son of Zeus. Hera was so determined to make Hercules suffer that she kept interfering in his life. After Hercules married Megara, eldest daughter of Thebes, and had three strong sons, Hera used her power to make Hercules mad. Under Hera's instigation, Hercules unknowingly murdered his wife and sons. Soon after getting acquainted with Hera's trickery, Hercules shattered totally and started to seek punishment for his horrifyingly committed crimes. Hercules visited Apollo, another son of Zeus and the god of prophecy, to know how to free his soul from this evil with a heavy heart. Apollo told Hercules to go to the city of Tyrants where he had to serve a cruel king, Eurystheus, for twelve years and complete twelve impossible tasks, which were known as the twelve labors, within the stipulated time, god of prophecy also promised that if Hercules can complete his punishment, his soul will be clean of evil and join the gods on Mount Olympus. The simpler it sounded, the harder it was. Here are the twelve labors that Hercules had to complete to accomplish his goals. To kill the lion. First, Hercules went to the hills of Nemea to kill a terrorizing lion. To kill the hydra. Then, Hercules traveled to learn a city to slay the guard of the underworld entrance, a nine-headed poisonous and snake-like underwater creature called Hydra. To capture the hind. After that, Hercules had to capture the Serenitian deer, who was sacred to the goddess Artemis and was faster than an arrow with the golden antlers. To capture the board. Then, Hercules was sent to Mount Arimanthus to capture a terrible and man-eating fierce boar. To clean the stables. Fifthly, Hercules had to clean King Agius's gigantic stables in only one day. It may sound easy, but it never was. To slay the birds. Next, Hercules headed on to the town of Stymphalos and shot down a considerable flock of predatory birds who were ravaging the countryside. To bring back the bull. Hercules journeyed to Crete to bring back a rampaging bull that impregnated the king's wife. To capture the horses. Hercules then captured four man-eating horses of the Thracian king Diomedes to bring back the horses. To bring back the belt. Hercules was sent to steal an armored belt that belonged to the Amazon queen, Hippolyte, which was a sign of her right to rule. To bring back the cattle. Hercules traveled nearly to Africa to steal the cattle of the three-headed, six-legged monster, Gerion. To get the apples. Next, King Eurystheus sent Hercules to steal a set of golden apples from Hera's garden, which was a wedding gift to Zeus. To kidnap the three-headed dog. The final challenge led Hercules to Hades, where he had to kidnap the vicious three-headed dog used to guard the gates to the underworld known as Cerberus. After all these hardships, Hercules was about to achieve the promise of Apollo. Still, one day when he returned home, Deonyra, his remarried wife, presented him with a cloak, and she coated it with magic bomb as a guarantee of his love for her forever. Unfortunately for Hercules, the bomb turns out to be poison. When Hercules put the cloak on, the cloak began to burn him, and he could not get off the cloak. Thus to get relief from the agonizing pain, Hercules accepted death. Zeus sent Athena to save Hercules from this situation and told her to bring him to Mount Olympus on her chariot, Hercules as the god of strength and heroes. The story of Hercules shows that Hercules was a man who may be destroyed but not defeated. If you like